Hi YouTube, I thought I'd show you my most recent uh, creature that I've just built. This is a Graboid from Tremors. Um, if you haven't seen Tremors, then uh, you really need to get out and see that. It's a brilliant film. Um, I'm going to show you all the stages through this build. Okay, so I started off by making these main parts of the jaw. So the upper jaw is just one part, and the lower jaw, you've got these three different parts. Um, I kept these really basic at this stage. Um, I could have gone in and made them really fine um, with all the details and things in, but actually I've got like a little Dremel drill, um, and I thought I'd add all the details afterwards with a Dremel drill. So this is just getting the basic shapes in to start with. And these were just made with milliput putty. Um, milliput is like a two-part putty, and you um, basically just mix the two parts together. Uh, and it hardens at room temperature. Uh, it takes about four hours um, to harden rock solid. Okay, I went in with the Dremel drill and I've refined all the jaw sections. Um, so a lot of this was just kind of thinning out um, edges, um, adding the little notches to the lower jaw sections. Um, and yeah, just refining the shapes. So you're basically just using small um, drill bits that kind of um, sand off. Um, certain areas of the jaw um, so things like um, sort of ball shape uh, diamond drill bits that kind of thing really useful for getting into a lot of those edges then I just scrunched a whole load of aluminium foil um, just to give me the rough body shape and you try and press this quite firmly so it makes quite a solid shape okay then back to milliput to make the um, the tongues or you could call them tentacles or um, snakes they're quite snake like and um, there's three of these I just tried to put them in um, interesting positions um, and you can see I've used a couple of kind of ends of milliput bags just to lift them up um, a couple of them just so they're off the ground I haven't added the snake heads yet um, just the actual tongue parts okay there's a funny bit in the movie where they sort of go oh look there's all these little spikes on the body um, and they must uh, they must use these to push themselves along. And then she sort of goes, that must be why they move so fast, which is um, completely implausible. But anyway, um, <laughs> uh, so I made all these little spikes. These are ready to be pushed um, onto the body when the body's got soft milliput on it. OK, there's a stage I forgot to mention earlier where um, basically on top of that aluminium foil um, body shape that I'd kind of squashed together, um, I coat that with PVA glue and kitchen paper. So it's basically like a layer of paper mache over the top. Um, okay, and you can see then what I do is I take some milliput, um, make sort of flat sheets of it, and put that over the top of the body and kind of press it on. And then to get the wrinkly effect, you just get a thin plastic bag. Um, I actually just use one of the um, bags from the milliput putty. Um, you tear a section of that off and you just place that over your um, flat layer of milliput over the body and then you just use um, a tool like I just use this kind of um, uh, point tool here just to drag lines into the soft putty and then you can pull the bag away and it gives you these really nice kind of wrinkly effects and you get used to this um, technique really quite quickly. Okay and then when all that is uh, still wet you can push these little spines uh, into the body then as the mini putt from the body wrinkles dry and um, that holds all of these little spines or spikes in place um, okay you can also see in the uh, jaw sections here um, you can see the detail that I did to the lower jaw um, on these sort of inside edge bits just a few kind of um, lumps that kind of stick out uh, a few ridges and things for extra detail. Here's a close-up of the um, body texture with the little spikes sticking out. And here are the little jaws that I've put onto the tentacles. Um, again, these are kind of just put on roughly to start with. And then I can always get in with a Dremel drill and kind of smooth them and make them a bit more refined afterwards. This just gives their basic shape. Okay, here's a few different views of it so far, just so you can see how it's coming on. You can see I've done more body wrinkles. Um, yeah, that's kind of uh, as much as I did with the body wrinkles. Okay, then this was the most tricky bit of the whole build, really. It's the little tiny um, horn-type things on the little snake heads. 
Um, so if you have a look at those, they're really kind of thin and tapering to a point. Um, so what I did was drill actually four little holes in each snake head, two for the top jaw, two for the bottom jaw, and then put these little um, pointy horn things into the holes and then smooth them in. And yeah, now I've just got to be really careful not to knock any of them off. I mean, they do dry rock hard still, but because they're so fine, they would be knocked off easily. Okay, then I started painting. Um, I use System 3 acrylic paints to do this. I painted the whole thing black, uh, apart from those snake heads because the horns were still drying. Um, but after I painted the whole thing black, then I just used um, dry brush with yellow ochre um, just to get all the sort of highlight um, ridges. Uh, and all of the dark, you can see it, just sits inside all of the wrinkles and makes all the wrinkles show up nicely. Okay, after all those little horns had dried, I painted these um, snake tentacles um, in this sort of pink colour. I didn't want a pink that was too vibrant, so I mixed quite a bit of brown in my um, pink, just to make it more kind of natural looking. Um, and then I've used um, a bit of cadmium red at the top, um, just where it goes into the mouth, and that uh, gives it a bit of extra definition, I think. Also, inside the jaw, um, on the top jaw you've got a bit of the pink as well um, which has got sort of black spots um, on it so it's worth doing that that uh, makes it more in keeping with the movie and there's a bit of pink down in the middle jaw as well um, the lower jaws and the upper jaw on the outside have got just a bit of um, brown just hints of brown again just sort of dry brushed onto it so it's not just solid um, black Okay, in this side view, you can see that I've taken some of the um, pink colour that I use for the tongue and I really watered it down to make a, a very uh, light kind of wash of it. And I've put this on the side of the body um, from the bottom going upwards into the wrinkles um, and it kind of fades into a lot of the wrinkles. And again, this makes it look a lot more um, skin-like and a lot more realistic. You can see the brown that I dry brushed onto the lower jaw and the upper jaw in these two shots a little bit more clearly. Um, you can see otherwise it would just be plain black on the jaw and the head and it, it just wouldn't um, look as realistic. Okay, so at this point I was starting to be really pleased with it and I was thinking um, it would be a good time to start thinking about getting him on a base. Um, so what I do, I go out um, occasionally and I collect... Um, bits of uh, soil and rocks and stones, things like this, like sand and various textures. These are the ones I picked for this particular project. Okay, so I found uh, an old sort of kitchen drawer, which is like basically like a beveled edge bit of wood, so it made quite a nice base. Um, and then I just got some um, kitchen foil uh, and just, you can see here, just pushed it into a rough shape press the creature down into it on the top so that I know that it sits on it nicely um, and then I've just uh, glued that on and just added PVA glue around the edge and then you can see I'm putting some of the bigger stones on first all the way around this edge then while the glue is still wet just add slightly smaller stones then I added more PVA glue to the top of the foil and added smaller stones into this and then what I do is I basically just take um, finer kind of sand or dust and sprinkle that in as well until everything is completely covered like this. So this is how he ended up looking. Um, I was really pleased with him and uh, I think he's going to make a nice kind of addition to my kind of monsters and creatures from various movies collection. <laughs> um, I can't wait to see him actually in place with all the others that I've done. Um, so yeah, check out my other videos for more creatures that I've made. Um, on this particular one as well, I added PVA glue onto his head, uh, just his head and his jaws, and that just gave them a bit of a um, shine, a bit of a glossy kind of look to them. But yeah, like I say, check out my other videos of other creatures that I've made, uh, and hit subscribe to see any others that I make in the future. Thanks for watching.